Hello. There. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Pick it up where we left off, which is start of, you know, chapter, well, chapter two. Uh, let's see, resume. Can you help helfen? Oh, nein, danke. Let's see, what are we supposed to do here? Let me look it up. So try to open the door, okay. So something about Gabriel Knight 2 and 3 is that uh, it introduced me the ability to play as somebody other than Gabriel. Something I didn't talk about last session. Pretty comfortable, even if he slept in it. Ritter ancestors, I assume. Ritter ancestors, I assume. Okay, so now we see. Okay, we gotta go downstairs. Yes. Where is Gabriel? I don't know exactly. Surely he said something when he left. You must have been here when his new case came up. I was here. What was it about? Was it around here? All I know is that he was going somewhere near Munich. I honestly do not know where he is staying. Okay, let me see what we're supposed to ask about here. About all topics, okay. So. We're gonna have to skip some, you know, we're gonna skip, you're trying to keep it on, only on the uh, relevant cutscenes. Gerda, there's a locked door in Gabriel's Yeah, bedroom. I don't think I can't remember which one's are relevant. It goes to the Schattenjäger Library. That's where all the Schattenjäger records are kept? Yes. Why is the door locked? Gabriel doesn't want the workmen in there. Oh. Can I get the key? No. The library is for Schattenjägers only. Gabriel mentioned in his letter that... Well, normally I do research for him. It's more or less my field, and if there's anything he needs to get done, I'd be happy to take care of it. He did ask me to check some things for him, but I couldn't let someone else do the work. I understand, really. But if Gabriel knew that I was already here, see, that I was around, he'd want me to do it. I'm sorry. If I do hear from him, I'll ask him what he would prefer. Until then, I must do the work he asks me to do. Well, thanks. All right. All right, so now what do we do? Let's see what to do. All right, so we exit. That's going to be an uh, animation. Uh, you that know, must be Gabriel's you know, car. Ergony, uh, I wonder coat. where the keys are. Gerda? Yes? Do you have the keys to the car outside? That is Gabriel's car. He doesn't even let me drive it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, thanks. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we need to get down into the village. Okay, so we're in Riddersburg Town Square. So we need to go all the way to the right. Uh, 
And here's the, you know, Huber from the opening. Guten Tag. Well, yeah, first of all, that crowder. Hmm. I, I bet you he's thinking, what the devil does she want? <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we're supposed to talk to him, but it's not. I don't want to disturb him. Hmm. I wonder who he is. So you can't tell because he modified it for the um, you know, this game, but it's actually based off a uh, an actual uh, of the off the real life portrait of Ludwig Ludwig the Second, who was a you know king of Bavaria. He factors heavily into this game. It's a fictionalized version. Pretty damn cute. I wonder who he is. Pretty damn cute. I have no idea what that says. Looks old, though. Okay, we still can't talk to him. That's odd. Hmm. Maybe we maybe we missed a step of Gertie. So let's talk go back up there. Schloss Ritter. What are you working on? Plans for the castle. Oh, what are you having done? Uh, lights, phones, plumbing, all new. It should have been done many years ago, but there was no money. Also, things need to be fixed. The stones, the castle is very old. Everything needs work. Is Gabriel planning to live here permanently then? Why not? It is his castle now. I thought he might, you know, sell it. Sell it? He would not do that. The castle belongs to the Ritters. You must know something about Gabriel's new case. It is not my business to talk or not to talk about it. Gabriel took the case for someone else. Really? Who? Werner Huber. He ran that, the Gasthof into That's why. Okay, we did miss the uh, flag. You need to trip the flag in order to get that. That's why he's not responding I'm to curious. us. Okay. Well, thanks. So, just like Gabriel Night 1, you cannot really sequence break. You have to do things in specific order in order to trip the current the correct uh, event flags. Guten Tag. Since Ivana Huber? Yes. Oh. That, see? You are an American, huh? Guess I haven't quite got the accent down, huh? <laughs> I'm a friend of Gabriel Knight. I'm staying at the castle. Good. Tell me about Rittersburg. It is a small town, private. We keep our business to ourselves. You mean about the Schattenjägers? Oh, the Schattenjägers, sure. The Schattenjägers are of this place, and this place is of them. Uh -huh. We believe in the old ways here. It has not changed much over the centuries. We still remember what the rest of the world has forgotten. And that is? That life is a battle between the light and the dark. Oh, great. They're philosophers. Do you know this? I think I mentioned that I was a friend of Gabriel Knight. Yes. Well, I came to help him on a case. A Schattenjäger case. That's just good. Well, we got our wires crossed and he'd already left by the time I got here. But Gerda mentioned that he was on a case for you. No, no, no. no not for me. For my cousin, Sepp. Lots of cousins around here. Uh, is Sepp in town? 
No, no. He and his wife went north for a few weeks. He does not live in Rittersberg anyway. Huh. Well, perhaps you can help me then. How do you mean? Give up the info, old man. Gerd is not sure where Gabriel is exactly, but you know where I can find him, don't you? It is not my business to tell people where to find the Shedmjäger. It is maybe not so safe, you see. Yes, I do see, and I appreciate your caution, really. But we worked together on his last case, and believe me, you'd be doing him a favor. Hmm. If he wants you to help him, he will have to contact you at the castle and tell you where he is himself. Great. They are really stubborn. Do you know how long Gabriel will be gone? If he is a good Schattenjäger, he will not come back until he has done what must be done. If he is not, who can say? Maybe he will not come back at all. What must be done? Can you tell me what Gabriel's case is about? What? Not specifically, of course, but in general. On our last case, we had to deal with a voodoo cult. I was just thinking, if I just knew what he was up against, maybe I could do some research. Well... He left so quickly, I guess. He didn't have time to investigate here at all. And the Schottenjäger archives might have something pertinent in them. If I knew what to look for, that is. Yes, that is true. There is much to be learned from the Schottenjäger past. Exactly. Gabriel is new at this, you know, and Wolfgang's not around to give him advice. All right, young lady. Hey, she I will makes tell a you point. What it is you need to look for. Yes. Werewolf. Werewolf? Werewolf. Gabriel's new case involves werewolves? Ah, you don't believe in such things. I don't know. It's a little outside. If you truly want to be an aide to a Schattenjäger, you will have to believe in such things. Things that are outside. You See, this goes back to what I was saying last session. You know, Gabriel is very skeptical, even though he just found out all this shit what he thought was, you know, made up was actually true. All right, a werewolf. And Grace is skeptical you know too, so that seems so weird. Things. Some things. This is not the first time that Rittersburg has seen the work of a werewolf, or even a werewolf itself. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not in my lifetime, you understand. But I was told of it when I was a boy. One was brought to town. It had killed many people. The Schattenjäger caught him. He was tried here. When was this? Mm, 1700s, I think, somewhere around in there. You're the proprietor of this Gastoff? Yes. It's very nice. Do you mainly serve food and drinks here? Oh, we have guest rooms upstairs, too. Yeah. Oh? Does Rittersburg get a lot of tourists? Some. Not so many know about this place. It is perhaps better that way. Germans on holiday come here. Foreigners find their way here one way or another. You speak English very well. Yes. How did you learn it? Wolfgang taught some of us. He thought we should know. Really? Convenient. Why? That is a very good question, is it not? Hmm. hmm. I never got to meet Gabriel's great uncle. What was he like? Oh. He was a true Schattenjäger, like in the old days. He knew things. What kinds of things? Things. He, he had, how do you say it, uh, the sight. 
He was a very good man to go to when you needed advice. And this isn't something we, yeah, I'm sorry. This isn't something we really saw, you know, discussed much, in, you know, during these, the brief segment of, segments in the first game of talking to Wolfgang. It must have been hard for the town when Wolfgang died. Yeah, it was bad, yes. But not a surprise. Gerda knew. It was harder on her than the rest of us. Really? Were she and Wolfgang close? You said Wolfgang was a true Schattenjäger. I suppose Gabriel... I mean, he's probably not what you expected. Oh, oh we shall see with that one. Yeah. One cannot know the quality of the iron until it has been in the fire. Eh? We shall see. Thanks. Bitte. Pretty damn cute. Okay, no new update dialogue. I wonder who he... I don't have anything to say to her. Okay, so we moment. can't ask about those pictures yet. So let me see what's next. Okay, when you go to the church that's on the upside, opposite side of town. Because every Gabriel Knight game's got a church in it. Hmm. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. I wonder what kind of... They're probably plot-relevant flowers. <laughs> Hello. Guten Tag. Okay, so we can't talk to Kenny. Let's see. Okay, he, he, apparently he doesn't speak English. Great. So we need to go into the back. Whoa. Uh, fucking crypt. Great. These coffins are really old. And they're all Schottenjägers. These coffins. These coffins. These coffins. Okay, there we go. Wolfgang Ritter. He died, yep, in 93. It's a silver heart. Someone must have left it as a mourning gift. Jürgen Ritter, 1403 to 1461. These coffins are real. Wolfgang Ritter, 10 May 1923. To 25 June 1993. Was it really the 25th of June? And the, I, might, I think they may have changed that date in the remake. Feels like they may have. I don't remember. I Whoa. don't want to disturb her. Okay, whoops. Alright, so now we need to see. Okay, so we gotta go to the townhouse, which is right next to, you know, the, the you know the beer, the, you know the beer hall. <laughs> I feel like there's a joke there about the the, uh, the seat government being right next to the booze house. It's locked. Hallo, meine Dame. Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein? Ah, hallo, wie geht es Ihnen? Gut, danke. Und Ihnen? Gut. Ich bin hier auf Herlob und... Uh, Let's try English, shall we? Thank God! <laughs> I've been studying German at home and I thought I knew a lot, but it's so different now that I'm actually here. Books alone are poor language teachers. You'll pick it up. Is there something I can help you with? 
Seamless transition there. <laughs> My name is Grace Nakamura. I'm staying at Schloss Ritter, and you are. You may call me Herr Habermas. Welcome to Ritter. Hotbox? Wait, Nakamura. you got some it's weed in there? Nice to meet you, Herr Habermas. Oh, Habermas. I swear it sounded like Hotbox. What can you tell me about Rittersburg? It is a very old town. No, I see. Have there always been Ritters in Rittersburg? So basically, you're finding out background information here. What is this building? We're going to skip a little bit. There we go. Trial records. Do you keep old town records here? Criminal trial records? Yes. We have files going back to the 12th century. Great. Mm. Werner Hoover told me about a local trial that supposedly involved a werewolf. I'd like to learn more about it. What was the date? Sometime in the 1700s? I'm afraid I would need a more specific time frame. We have many, many files. Yes, of course. Thanks for your time. Certainly. Real yeah, fucking useful there, you know, Uber. Let's see. Okay, we gotta go back to the castle. Rock missing before? Hmm. There's a hole in the mortar where a stone used to be. Hmm. Sweet. He left his toolbox. Let's, let's you know, grab his stuff. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. There's a hole in the. I don't think I need that. Hmm. I don't think I need that. I'm trying to I'm looking for a screwdriver. I can't see. And which one's the actual screwdriver? Okay, so let me see what find some information here. Hmm. Could be we need you know we need to open the closet, then maybe we can actually get the uh, screwdriver. Nice closet. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. There's a hole in the mortar where a stone used to be. Wait, do we have the screwdriver? Oh, no wonder. Sometimes it, you, it's not always when you pick something up. All right, so we open the secret passage because, yeah, of course, castle in Germany. Why wouldn't it have secret passages? Hmm. Good going. We can't see shit. I wonder if this thing's glitched. Oh my god, I think it's glitched. This is, uh, really weird. Okay, yes. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to reboot this. The perils are not saving often. 
So we're probably going to repeat that entire segment, but we can skip past it and know now what we need to do. Yep. Alright, so we'll just... Alright, so yeah, that sucked. That was unfortunate. I've never seen that happen before. Okay. Ah, uh, unfortunately we do not have our... I don't know why the autosave isn't kicking in. I feel like it should be. Like, that's so weird. Nice. Okay, so we could... Fortunately, it won't take but a few minutes. It's locked. Where is Gabe? You must. So. What? I'm. Gabe, you'll last year. Care that. Well. Okay. It take less than a minute to go to all of them. You know what that you're doing. That must be Gabriel's car. Do you? Well, thanks. Oh, she was there before. Oh, going, going the wrong way. Pretty damn cute. You're the. You. S I never got. Oof. It must have been hard. Tell me about. I think. Gear does not. Can you. My name. What can have there always? What is it? Do you keep? Thank all right. So we should have tripped all the flags again. It's time to go back up and save. Cause I don't want to do that again. Okay, so does it? Oh, this time it didn't do it. That's bizarre. So, you know, always be careful. Make a, you know, constantly save. Someone's been using this passageway. Let me guess. Gerda's bedroom. What a surprise. She is so damn snarky.
That must be Wolfgang. Something to remember him by, I guess. God damn! He looks like a fucking fashion model here. Compared this to the old, the, you know, the old man we saw in the you know in Gabriel Knight One. What the fuck? That must be Wolf. That must be Wolfgang. Okay, so what are we supposed to do in here? Okay, that just we're supposed to open a different. I can't go out that way. We're supposed to open a closet up somewhere. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, so I missed that first time. Get his clothes. Isn't she just as cute as a button? Right about now I'm hearing the, you know, the Super Mario Underground music. Looking a bit Castlevania in here. We do have werewolves. How convenient. When the Lord of the Manor is slipping through the passageway to his amorous adventures, he can pick up a few flowers. Damn, she's bitter. I can tell she's bitter. Okay, let's see. We go back to Gabriel's bedroom, okay. It's locked. It's something I don't, I don't appreciate about the old school point and quick games. They don't automatically do this section. You always have to go to the key, click it, then, you know, click it on the uh, target you want to do. It's like, why can't it be automatic at that point? So this is about the same spot it was in the you know first game where Books the uh the occult. Yeah, werewolf we book go. was. Vampires, witchcraft, ghosts, Asian spirits, hmm. Hmm. lycanthropes. That's a kind of a small book. <laughs> Did you get in here? Oh, hi. busted! How did you unlock the door? Oh. 
Oh, I see. All right. Look, let's just drop all the pretense, okay? Obviously, I found the passageway. I know what's been going on in this little Alpinian love nest, and really, I couldn't care less. If you want to screw around with your employer, that's none of my business. But what I won't put up with is assisting the Schattenjäger crap. I gave up school to work on this stuff because I thought it was important. I'm doing the research that Gabriel wanted, and so help me, I'm gonna be doing more than just research this time around. And I'm gonna just sit around and wait for him to call and give me permission. And if you don't like it, it's just too damn bad! Okay, fine. You do the damn research. Damn it. Few things about that. One, can you tell this is a 1990s drama? <laughs> that also got kind of borderline corny. Two, what a bitch. <laughs> That's like, you know, it's kind of a, I'm, from, I'm, I remember reading that the Gabriel Knight 2 was kind of polarizing because it changed some of the characterizations of Gabriel and Grace. And Grace is a lot bitchier than she normally was. So, yeah, she's actually really bitchy. Anyway, what's the cover inventory? You should have that letter, right? Yep. 4th of March, 1864. To King Ludwig II, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. Convenient that's in English, huh? I thank forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety. I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf mm. is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. 4th of March, I have heard that... Uh, why didn't that let me turn it over? There we go. I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. So that's actually a big deal. You know, the, the, the Ritters were directly talking to King Ludwig II, who historically, let me see if this is uh, something that, that was invented for the game, or I'm pretty sure this is a. Uh, Something that, that was historically known, but you know, expanded on in the game. You know, it's a fictionalized version. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, they 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 play a lot upon uh Lid the the actual Ludwig the Second's you know history and everything. Hmm. Yeah, he was declared insane. Yeah, the real one was declared insane. This is something that's talked about in this game. So yeah, minor spoiler there. It does talk about you know basically basically it takes the Assassin's Creed approach. It explains what 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 it, you know, what in the game's canon really happened with what, what, what the second. So yeah. Okay, let me see where we're supposed to go next. All right, we are off to let's see. Oh, we need need to keep looking at the uh, library. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's two books, but we've seen the letter, so we yeah we need. Let's see. The Journal of Victor Ritter. Hmm, 
think. Isn't that the guy we just saw the letter from? Let me look at that letter again. There we go. Fourth of I have heard. Oh, Christian Ritter. Okay. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. Hmm. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. Mm. God be praised. So now we know we have a trial date. And came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenegger, 20 April 1750. Oh, let's just go back to the desk. I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. <laughs> I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. Hard at work, Knight. I'm not quite ready to write the big okay, hero so yet. Okay, so let's see what we're supposed to do. Okay, so we're supposed to call somebody. Let's see. Huh, you have a car, really? Bert Barkley knows more about history than I ever will, especially at this rate. God damn, that's an ancient fucking phone. Show a picture of that to scare a Zoomer. <laughs> fucking old school rotary phone. Calling an old school dial up phone. Hello. Professor Barkley, this is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. Late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy or something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Interesting enough, you know, that's yeah, not the back yeah, remember that's not the number anyway. that was in Grace, your, your original sorry, game. Man. Thanks, bye. Bye. Like I remember that being what you know four you know four three three for the last digits. Of course, I could be wrong. Okay, so now we got to see. Let me see what we're supposed to do next.
Okay, so we gotta go back to Herr Habermas. So back to the beer house. Oh, no, wait, not the beer house, sorry. Damn it, it's right next to the, the pub, okay? I'm gonna get confused easily on this one. We need to talk to the uh, town hall guy. Oh, wrong way. Okay, it's been a while since we say, because I don't want to go to that weird glitching again. Wait. Oh, interesting. It's gonna... Oh, okay, I see now. See, it's gonna have the original save date, but it'll show your actual time. Ah. That's why it was, it was confusing me for a moment there. I thought the file net was updating too. But that's asking a little bit much for a game made in 1996, isn't it? Pretty sure this is 96. Remember that werewolf trial I'd asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. I heard of this case when I was a boy, uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it I never sought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was really? all right. Oh, uh, this guy. What did you want to know? Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schottenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was. Uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh. What happened to the alleged werewolf? He was interrogated for two days. He confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day. And he was uh, sentenced to death by quartering and the stake. Uh, Damn, going out like William Wallace. Given a final meal, he asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Uh, don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the rat house basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Happened for many years. Years? Don't you mean centuries? Did that sounds like they st recently that? stopped using it. That's what it says. They put the wolf in a cell, and the next morning they found a man in there. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Ralek uh, from Alfing. Hmm. Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess. Uh, yes. It says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. This might actually be what we saw in the intro. You know, the opening uh, movie, the prologue. Unless... Is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. He is way too happy to escort her down there. I'm kind of worried. Uh, also, that is the actual locked dungeon. <laughs> so now we know what that door was.
Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. Oh, great, she's got the fucking echo. Just like the Are warrior you? light. I'm fine. It's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I tell you what. Normally this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most welcome. But Good really, yeah, I don't Good think Eric explained Bye. how she did that. Because she has no super... The only person who actually has supernatural powers, playable-wise, is Gabriel. So, it's never actually explained what the fuck happened there, as far as I remember. Okay, so we need to see the, the bed and then the window. Von Rolick slept here. Damn, he's got the proper mewdoo on it. Those bars won't budge. He asked to see a confessor. Claw marks. Okay, so we did that. Let's see. Okay, so we need to go back up to, let's see, okay, so we gotta go back to Herr Habermas and talk about the church records. I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes? You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed to give a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might tell us more about the Baron's life. Hmm. Good idea, young lady. Those records are in German, though, and Father Getz doesn't speak English. Funny thing is, because we found that out ahead of time. Pure shot, Diego. I'm not sure. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Getz, and he'll see if they have a record of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, okay? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Certainly. You got my curiosity up too, you know. Hmm. Mayor Habermas's note to Father Gantz. Mayor Habermas. Okay, so she doesn't try to translate it. Das hier ist von Herrn Habermas. Ein Moment, bitte. Das ist für Sie. Dude's faster than a fucking Dankeschön. Google search. Ain't that some shit. Grace Knock. All right. I 
I have the church file. Excellent. Let me see it. What's this? <clears throat> this is in English. It's from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. It's addressed to St. Georg's Church. The date is 1764. What's it say? It's a request for information about the death of Baron Klaus von Rallick. It says it's for the family. I assume someone answered it. Curious. What? The seal on the envelope. A wolf. Okay. <clears throat> the last confession. Mm -hmm. The Raleigh family uh, took the symbol of a black wolf uh, to represent their great skill at the hunt. See, uh, Klaus von Raleigh says that he lived up to, to the family symbol too well. His friends nicknamed him the Black Wolf, uh, but he confessed it was more because he was prideful and uh, treated his villagers and women uh, very badly. He was much feared. The Baron confesses that uh, a life of sin brought the werewolf curse upon him. Ah, listen to this. A gypsy camp, uh, Hungarians, uh, came to Alfing one day. He wanted one of their young women. Uh, he had uh -oh. her to his castle by force, and there he... Raped her? Raped her, yes. Jesus! He Can you tell this is a 99th PC her, game? Uh, but before he did, because console the games weren't exactly the fucking habit of just being in your face about day, saying somebody in the story raped somebody. Like, holy uh, fuck! Cursed him, saying that he was to become the shape that his name and his crime just straight up in your fucking face. To be. I see. Soon afterwards, yeah. it's actually a major difference about. between PC and console back then. Klaus Nowadays, Ralli you know, that, that you, you see is more is equally as likely, but back then PC was the only one doing that because they weren't, uh, you know, the, the consoles back then were under uh, people who had, uh, from companies that had very strict censorship policies on that kind of thing. He says he welcomes his punishment if only it will pay for his sins and save his. It's also a good reason why. For a long time, PC was seen by some as the more adult platform because they had less of, le less regulation to deal with on that count. Whereas you were, whereas you were not going to see a Nintendo game back then that you know that even hinted at sexual assault. And to your and it'll be later, uh, PlayStation, you know, later fifth generation where you start seeing that become more common. Anything about King Ludwig the Second? Of course, everybody knows about Ludwig. He was the last true King Bavaria had. Why do you think I hang his portrait? Eh? Or that article on the wall? Eh? Do you know what that is? That is from the Munich newspaper the day after the king died. My great grandfather saved it. It has been handed down to every first son. That is what Bavarians think of Ludwig. What was Ludwig like? Why is he so revered? Oh, he was a genius. He had a great mind, you know. He built castles, is what he did, and kept on building them until they killed him. Who killed him? Them. Those politicians, <laughs> they, they said he was crazy. Got a doctor to sign some papers. They arrested him. Then what happened? What do you think? They killed him. Oh, they said it was suicide. But me, I don't believe that. It was murder.
Thanks. Bitte? All right, so we'll see what we need to do now. Okay, so we need to go back to the shot in Yager library. Yes. They say Yager, but I swear it feels like it should be Yager. I don't know. Schloss. So we click this and get another library, you know. Christian Ritter's journal is yeah, here. No journal. Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820, ordained a Schottenjäger, died 4 March 1864. The 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Hmm. All right, Knight, I've got your research. Just need somewhere to send it to. All right, so let's see what we're supposed to do next. Ah, oh, we gotta talk to Gertie. Gabriel's package ready, but I need an address. I found the items that Gabriel wanted. Did he tell you where to send your research? Yes, his lawyer's office in Munich. Can I get the address? Harald Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, München. Thanks. That sounds v fairly fucking vague, like, no numbers. Yeah, okay, see, yeah, look at that. There's numbers and everything. That just sounds so goddamn vague. <laughs> So it's supposed to be next to the gas. Oh, there, yeah, right there. Uh, we haven't saved in a while. I'm worried. There's no one there. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Das Päckchen so nach Muschen gehen. Sieben Mark fertig, bitte. Nein, danke. Ja, okay. Uh, did she just reject our package? That's better. It's not exactly Gabriel's address, but it's a start. Uh, let me see what we did something wrong. 
Oh, we're supposed to pay her. That's better. Ich möchte es don't. Danke schön. Bitte sehr. That'll give him something to chew on. Hmm. And now we reach the end of chapter two. We'll go ahead and get chapter three as well. Now, if I remember correctly, chapter three is where the big action starts happening. You know, one is, you know, that's right. You know, one and two are kind of short. Two is, I think, the shortest of the, of the uh, actually, uh, chapter two might be the second shortest. And remember correctly, chapter six is actually the shortest. Guten Abend. Uh, Guten, how, how are you? Uh, is this the castle of the shot and joggers here? Yes, but I... How exciting! Come along, Emil. <laughs> we are so thrilled to be here. Emil says it's the 1990s, for heaven's sake. The shot and joggers are probably long gone. Well, of course they aren't, I said. A family like that doesn't just dry up and <sighs> The good Lord's put his mark These on These are them. recurring Who characters are that show up in, I in uh, just wondering the same thing you know, Gabriel Knight 3. Neither I don't know if like you guys should see them ahead of time in Gabriel Knight 1. I know we didn't see them in the remake. chooses his soldiers. And who am I to put in my two cents? No, we're the, we're the Smiths from Merrimack, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is my wife, Merle. You can call me Emil. My she looks straight out of if fucking 1960s. Right the point, he'll get there for me. <laughs> or 50s. It's nice to meet you both. Uh-huh. Well, how did you hear about the Schottenjägers? That's how oh, she got that haircut. Demonologist. Uh, my wife makes it her business to know a lot about a lot of different things. Uh, she's a regular, what you call, uh, occultist scholar, aren't you, Mother? That's right. Yeah. I okay, so if I'm this is actually uh, uh, and kind of funny because they're kind of joke characters, but at the same time, they so provide nice critical information in either Gabriel Knight 2 or Gabriel Knight 3. Now. I can't remember. I'll let him know you called, though. Oh, no. When I was so hoping to talk shop. We fighters of darkness are so rare these days. Don't I know it can't scare one up to save your soul. Uh, it's not your fault, Missy. I... I told Merle to call before he came. Now, people just don't take you seriously unless you're standing right there. You know that, Em. Well, it's rather late, and if you're driving, you might as well, you know, oh, go out uh, right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to spend the night at the guest house in town. Stop by tomorrow, won't you, dear? You and I can exchange stories at least. We'll see. Well, come on, Merle. These ladies are tired, I think. But Anne. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. <gasps> Wait, what's wrong? It's not your fault. This just happens, man. I'm sorry. I'll get her some water. Give me your hand. Oh. I see. I see danger. Someone close to you is in danger. Gabriel? I see something. Something like a wolf. Dude, Black wolf. fucking uh, freaky. Uh, don't you worry, miss. Uh, my Merle is going to be all right. This just happens sometimes. That's all. It just, it just happens. Come on, Merle. Let's go. Come on. Considering, you know, Grace Nakamura went down in there, you know, into the uh, dungeon, okay. popped off the echo like the fucking warrior light, you know. I don't know. I'm willing to believe this shit's actually legit now. <laughs> and there we go. Start chapter three. Has he just been chilling by a you know, lake the entire time like fucking Andy Griffith? No, that's more like Opie. So this may be very confusing if you don't understand what's going on. This requires knowledge of... Oh shit. Damn. Forgot about that little thing. Let's 
So anyway, I was going to say that requires knowledge of who what uh, Ludwig the Second's name, uh, you know, uh, nickname. He was known as the Swan King. So that's why you know if you if you if you don't know anything about Ludwig the Second, that may be that the little sequence there might be confusing. But they got the, they got an actor. You know, the actor is meant to portray you know, a reasonably close version of Ludwig. Actually, let me look. Let's see, yeah, they you know, like, okay, I'm looking at him on Wiki. You know, this is just, what the information on the actual you know the you know Wiki page, not the Gabriel you know specialized one on top of the, you know the general knowledge, you know Wiki, Wikipedia. And they they got the actor's face facial hair to look a lot like an older Ludwig. You know, one pat. Let's see, when did he die? Okay, he died in late eighteen eighties. So the the portrait they have on Wiki is the eight of uh, eighteen seventy four, around eighteen seventy four. So it's an older you know, Ludwig with you know more grown out hair and everything. Kind of, oh yeah, they actually have a portrait of him under right. It says circa eighteen eighty two. So that's the one they used for the actor in here. So what we saw was Ludwig in a swan. Hence, if you did not know his name, his nickname was the Swan King, you would be very confused at that sequence. So what we did, what we saw is a wolf involved with Ludwig, which we know from the letter. Anyway, so with that history done, let's see what we're supposed to do next. Uh, do, do, do. Uh. Okay, so we're back in control, Gabriel. So we need to pick up the newspaper. The wait, did we? Oh, that's right, we did. We, we did before because yeah, that was the start again. Okay, yeah, I was confused for a moment there. That's how we learned about you know Commissar Luber. Okay, so we're gonna apparently we're gonna have some flashbacks, right? Where is the papers? I don't think the Ubers want me in their. Oh. Over here. Yikes! Something's going on. So something about killer wolves. You know D. Hmm. I see D. I see the, yeah. I can't translate this one. I'm not. So there's something about Dina Straub. Okay. Marion Mary Plots. Okay, something going on around the town hall there. Okay, so I'm thinking something happened one at one fifteen last night. Someone got attacked. I think that's the general idea here. Like I played the game before, but even if you just look at the text and you know the uh, photo there, it's you know it's you get the idea that Looks somebody like got that. Been another wolf killing. See, and this one occurred last night in downtown Munich. Okay, we need to look at our inventory. Baron Friedrich von Glauer. He lives in the Perlacher district. I was hoping for... Yeah, that's not... There we go. Uh, and that's something I really wish they had just automated was the key. You know, same with the, uh, you know, like I said earlier. You know, it should be automatic. So we got stuff in Lockham, Marion Plots, and Prince, or, your Prince Regent Plaza. Head on over to Perlock.
Yeah, I like how Von Glar is just yeah, chilling over here. In Shultagong Baron, Gabriel Knight is here, says Suzanne. Lessons are better in her eye. Gabriel, what a pleasure to see you so soon. Bring in Zeus Bittai and Spider's Glantwein. Hope I'm not taking advantage of your kind invitation. Well, my invitations are meant to be kept. Come, warm yourself. I hope you like wine. I got hooked on the grape when I lived in France. It's fine, Baron. Call me freakish. All right. Good. I like to have things settled. You were going to tell me how you found the club and about your hunting in America. Oh, there must be more interesting subjects. No doubt. Because he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking you about. A man who runs deep, I suspect. <laughs> On my updates. I find nothing more stimulating than a new companion. A fresh mind with treasures to reap. New thoughts like rare birds uncovered and examined, one by one. It is only when people know each other well that they run out of things to say. May we never be so cursed. Okay, so let's see what we're supposed to do here. Oh, okay, I guess it was apparently a metaphorical flashback. I forgot to comment about that. Metaphorical flashbacks on the uh, paper. Oh, we're, we're actually not supposed to talk to him yet. Whoops. Okay, so we, we could probably we could go back there. You know, you know, we as we know we saw from chapter one, a location does not stop being you know, stop highlighting till we're actually done there. Das vereinbaren Sie am besten mit meiner Sekretärin. Gut, ja, danke. Ah, I was hoping you'd stop by. Um, I have a package for you. Really? Must be from Gertie. I trust this morning finds you well, Mr. Knight. Yeah, well, I'm lucky it's found me at all. You can call me Gabriel, by the way. Oh, of course. Call me Harald. Um, Harry's okay, too. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> woo I don't have anything else to say right now. March 18th, 1994. So yeah, I think Gabriel, I talked about this, but this is well one year after the I'm voodoo murders. I wasn't about to sit in New Orleans and let you have all the fun. Besides, if it goes anything like last time, you're going to need my help. I've been doing the research Gerda said. And honestly, wanted. she's actually quite right. <laughs> Enclosed is a book you might find useful. It looks a little outdated, but then I've never dealt with werewolves before, so it's hard to be sure. There's also some werewolf history right here in town. I found some clues pointing to a werewolf called the Black Wolf. He's cropped up in a couple of places, including here in Rittersburg in 1750 and in association with Ludwig II, a Bavarian king that died in 1886. It's all ancient history, I know, but something tells me that it is relevant. I'm not sure where to go from here, except to look into Ludwig II. Ask around about the Black Wolf in Munich and see what you find out. Also, let me know if you want me to research Ludwig or join you there. I'm sending this to your lawyer, but I'll need to contact you directly. Send your address and phone number ASAP. Herr Huber is being stubborn and won't tell me. Be careful and write. Grace. Damn it, what the hell is Grace doing here? At least she's off in the ozone somewhere. The Black Wolf, Ludwig II. She's really losing it. Again! 
why is he so fucking skeptical? He knows the supernatural is true, and he fought a fucking Loa, a goddamn pissed off Uber spirit, and he thinks werewolves are not real. There's just so many damn plot holes. Do you know anything about like the series is fun? Yo, know, this the, naturally the first game is Has fun, been running and the overall the series no. is very Run interesting. Any dead? But <laughs> damn, there's some yes, weird yes, fucking plot like holes. That. But he is still everywhere, like your um, Marilyn Monroe or uh, Elvis. He is the Pavarian enigma. So what's the big deal about this Ludwig guy? They call him the fairy tale king. Uh, he's very romantic and mysterious, you know. He built castles, and now they are huge tourist attractions. Castles? Where are they? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Herren Chiemsee is about three hours southeast. Uh, Neuschwanstein is southwest of the border with Switzerland, about two, two and a half hours. Um, I can have my secretary draw you a map, if you like, but um, most channel maps have them already marked. Uh no, no thanks. The second map, the second castle is actually a major myself. cultural thing, and Mercury like was. Damn, what? I think it was actually featured in so uh, king, right? Civilization yeah, series as a yeah, as a major the wonder of the world. I think, I'm trying to remember what games <laughs> I've seen it in. Perfect. Uh, let me look this up because it's gonna bother the hell out of me. But you know that castle has appeared in other uh, areas. You know, new. Oops, sorry. New, new Schwanstein. Let's see. I'm trying to pull it up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's not showing on wiki. Let's see. Hmm, can't see the finding right now. And apparently it's a uh, well, something used to as a Sleeping Beauty castle in D Disneyland parks. Huh? Did not know that. Yeah, but I want to say it was in Civilization because it seems like it's like exactly the kind of thing it would be in Civilization. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? I know one guy talks a lot about devastation that wasn't his intention. That's all right. I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, and I think we're actually what's done. Let me see if we're supposed to do anything else here with Uber Growl. Okay, yeah, we're done here. Well, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. All right, so we need to go to the clock shop. Cuckoo clocks. And we got you go inside now, I think. Yep. Hello. Grüß Gott. All right, so the left side of the counter's clock. Hmm. 
Authentic Black Forest Cuckoo Clock. in there uh, this uh, sound thing you know to 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 wake up you, you know in the morning uh. an alarm clock yeah yeah alarm clock yeah richtig yeah. how much is it we feel 60 marks can you tell they were still using du your dush your dush marks back then now where's his wallet Uh, oh, that tiny ass thing's a wallet? My wallet. It actually has money in it these days. I'll take that woodpecker clock. 60 marks, bitte. That's all right, I'll take it as it is. Danke schön. Bitte. All right, so let's see here. We got the... Oh, then we got to go to the hunting lodge, huh? Okay. Yeah, I wonder if Von Gaal's just chilling here waiting for us to come back. You know, it's like it's like that SpongeBob me. What do you what do you do while I'm gone? Wait for you to come back. <laughs> I figured out where last night's killing took place. Yep, we got a cop scene over here. Looks like a television news crew. Isn't that the detective from the paper? Commissar Lever? Commissar Lever? My name is Gabriel Knight. I've been trying to get in touch with you at the station. Nah, it's gonna be one of those assholes. All right. He's not listening. So we're supposed to use the evidence analysis on him. Gabriel Knight, I need to discuss some evidence with you. What do you want? I'm busy here. I have some evidence here that uh, contradicts the old zoo wolves theory. I was wondering if maybe we could discuss it. Look, I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but I don't have time for this. Yes, sir. Most friendly German officer. <laughs> some information you might find of uh, interest you're an American gee what gave it away lady and you believe you have information about the mutilation killings I do 
have some information. Yes, ma'am. I was about to discuss it with the commissar over there, but uh, he seems kind of busy. I thought I'd speak with y'all instead. Nun gut, was soll's? Dreh schön, Dieter. Wir befinden uns am Tatort des bis jetzt letzten besorgen Todesfalles, der durch die Killerwolfe herbeigeführt wurde. Mit mir befindet sich ein Amerikaner, der offensichtlich wichtige Hinweise bezüglich dieses Mordfalles hat. You believe you have information about the wolf killing, sir? Yes, uh, yes, I do. I was about to ask uh, Commissar Lieber over there some questions, such as why animal hair found at the crime scene is reddish brown when the escaped zoo wolves were gray. A fact, wieso die Tierhaare am Tatort rötlich braun sind, wie doch die entlaufenen zoo wolfe offensichtlich grau waren. And, uh, how come paw prints found at the scene indicate an animal? As a reminder, he does not, you know, Gabriel Knight does not take necessarily take the legal option to resolve a situation. Und er fragt, wieso die Pfotenabdrücke am Tatort viel größer sind als die der Zoowölfe. How did you get this information? Well, damn! All right, you have my attention. Still, most friendly German officer. <laughs> Well, I'm Gabriel Knight, the American novelist. I've been by your station to see you, but uh, funny thing, they, they would not let me in. All right. I'll see you at the station later, but only if you agree to get out of here and not talk to the boys. You got it. <laughs> well... That's one way to get a meeting, huh? Alright, so let's see what we're supposed to do next. Okay, so we get inside of Hutton Lodge. Good morning, Herr Knight. I'm afraid there's no one here at the moment. They're all busy with their daily tasks. You are, however, welcome to use the club. So I've been informed. Thank you, Xavier. You're so kind. So tell me about the club. What about it? How often do the club members go hunting? As a group, once a month or so. <laughs> once a month? <laughs> Hell, I thought y'all were hunters. Back home, you don't get out there and spill a little blood at least once a week. The other men start looking at you funny. <laughs> Organized club hunting. God! Once a Can you tell this game was made in the 1990s? <laughs> lodges anytime on a more casual basis. And they frequently do. How long has the club been around? Since 1970. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the old Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge? It's older than that, isn't it? The Königke Bayerische Hofjagd Loge is ancient. This particular form of it is new. Hmm. What happened in 1970? Baron von Glauer came. He brought a new vision. The lodge had nearly died out. Hunting is not so popular as it used to be. Were you here when Von Glauer joined? Baron Von Glauer. He hired me later, in 72. Now, keep in mind this game was set in 1994. So, he's here in his 40s and possibly 50s. That's actually a very big uh, clue to, you know, to the, you know, inner, inner, uh, the biggest five. mysteries of the game. Not including you. That this lodge sure is, you know... This current form has been around since 1970. I mean, it's 1984. Club? 
quantity is not an overriding concern with us, her knight. The Baron personally interviewed and approved each new member. Despite your own experience, this club is extremely exclusive. Not everyone would fit in. No, I don't suppose they would. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. Did you, right. did you see how he just paused? I don't know if he actually can be given give information about a Black Wolf, but it, it was so suspicious. So, uh, tell me about the club members. I don't gossip about our members, Herr Knight. <laughs> gossip? <laughs> With you? Please. I've never met anyone as obviously discreet as you. Thank you. Bet you could drop a load if you wanted to, though. You probably know more about what goes on around here than anyone. True. At least I used to. But with all these new people coming in, I'm not sure I know anything anymore. All these new people? You mean I'm not the only fresh blood? No, Herr Dr. Klingman was only accepted a few weeks ago. Really? Who brought him in? I was not in on the discussion, so I really couldn't say but I'm sure there was more thought behind his acceptance than yours. Prick. All right, Xavier. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we can explore the club now. Wasn't well, so this the same music playing when we went to see, uh, you know, Von Glauer? <laughs> it's in German. Hmm. So we got a door that goes out to an alley. Nice plant. So we're supposed to use the uh, cuckoo clock on the potted plant. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Let's see. So we're supposed to wait for him to go investigate. Somebody's at the door. I can hear. Yoink. I'll be taking that. He sure didn't need that. Everything all right? 
Everything is fine, Herr Knight. All right, so let's see where it's supposed to go next. Oh, so we're supposed to go and lock it, then dick with the clock again. Xavier's keys. How informative. So just replace the scene. Reading chat, yeah, it's kind of a goofy puzzle, huh? Must you wissen where that is? <laughs> Everything all right? Everything is fine, Herr Knight. <laughs> okay, so let's see where we're supposed to go next. All right, so we're supposed to go back to that room now. Retro room. Yeah, look, I'm gonna say because it's been a while, and I'm a little concerned. Since we already had one crash, you know, one of the game freezing. Just a guess, but I don't think this stuff has much to do with hunt. God damn! Fucking human skull in here. Aren't some of these endangered species? Aren't some of these endangered species? Yeah, but when has that ever stopped rich, you know, hunters? Rice, Von Agna, Henneman. I met them all last night. I wonder what these figures mean. I'm sure we're gonna find out. Rice, Von Agna, Henneman. Okay. Hmm, let me see what I'm supposed to do now. Let's see. So, weaponry, diary, okay, animal trophies. Aren't some of these in danger? Aren't some of these in danger? So let's click on everything twice. Aren't some of the photos of the club hunts? Looks like Von Glauer and Von Zell monopolized the camera. Or the hunts. 
Photos of the club. Photos of the photos of the club. Okay, so did that. And now we're supposed to get caught. Mr. Knight? Hey. This home is for members. Only. Oh, sorry. The door was open. I'll go up. Wait. I'd better make sure you do not take another unexpected detour. After you. Baron von Zell? I found the basement door unlocked and her night below. Perhaps you could keep a better eye on the keys in the future. I will, Baron von Zell. He is not happy with our presence. <laughs> May I speak with you, Baron Von Zell? Yes? What is it? Okay, so... So, uh... We're gonna suckle, suckle to some of these real quick. I take you don't really learn much... Uh, uh, Mimicric, you don't really learn much of me, look, check. So we had to save the uh, trophies for our last as the last topic. Club. Yeah, this ought to get some re reaction. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. Hmm. Going by the music and the way he paused, you know he knows something. You mentioned that y'all don't go on hunting trips abroad? We do not. But those trophies in the basement, uh, y'all really have white tigers in Germany or lions? The majority of what the club hunts are far more common species here night. The trophies in the basement are exceptions, and they were obtained quite legally. Oh, you misunderstand me, Baron Von Zell. I think not. In any case, the basement is not public territory. And its contents are, therefore, none of your concern. Uh, of course, I, I do apologize. As a guest of this club, the why you are a guest of this club is a mystery to me. But as a guest, perhaps you should limit your prowling and sniffing to areas which you are offered openly by those who belong here. You're so right. God, what a trouble asshole. <laughs> like he just radiates ha hatred for Gabriel. Okay, so we're supposed to go to, you know, to the police it station. This leads to a back alley. Okay, and stuff, there's, there's stuff to do here in Mar Marion Plots. And you can hear a remix of the police station theme from Gabriel Night One. Commissar Lever, so generous of you to see me. Sit down. Tonight. 
Now, you will tell me what you think you know about this case, yes? German interrogation. Uh, quid pro quo in German. There is no translation. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Sit down. Damn. Again, most friendly German. <laughs> you know, German police officer. <laughs> you want information? I want information. It's uh, kind of convenient that way. I can't give you police information. <laughs> Why not? I'm not asking for anything confidential. Hell, I can't even read the damn newspapers around here. Press release stuff. That's all I want. All right. But then it's your turn. Agreed? <laughs> I hear you. Okay, so let's talk. I think we're still talking about lots of other stuff. Okay, so let's see. So we talked to him about all the uh, topics, then we look around in his office. How long have you been a commissar? Ten years. All of them here in Munich? Yes. And a criminal. Tell me about the other victims. What do you want to know? How many victims have there been? Five, including the one downtown. Could there be bodies out there that you haven't found yet? No. The killings have been done in broad daylight. Body parts left like a trail of board criminal. Bread crumbs? <laughs> Jack the Ripper Wolf. When were the other victims killed? The first was 32 days ago. Hmm. Two days after the zoo wolves escaped. Uh, and the others? The two teenage boys were killed 20 days ago. The Huber girl, six days ago. What about the locations of the killing? What does forensics say about the killer? That information is not for the press. The killer isn't one of the zoo wolves, is it? That is information the press does not have, Mr. Knight. I expect it to stay that way. <laughs> I understand. Maybe worth your time to so make it stay that way, buddy. Evidence on the killer does not match what we know of the zoo wolves. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about that? Either there is a mistake with the zoo records. I think the zoo would know if they had a reddish-brown hybrid in the wolf camp. I didn't say it was likely. Another possibility is, of course, that another animal is responsible. Wild? Possibly. Maybe. A pet. A pet? Pet doggo? Really? <laughs> As in maybe the reason you haven't been able to track the thing is that it's going into someone's home. It's possible. Have you... Uh, have you given any thought at all uh, about the possibility of... What? A werewolf? Never mind. <laughs> Creeped him the fuck out, didn't he? Okay, so you keep have any theories 
Tell me about the latest victim. Male, 52, Grossberg was the name. Hmm. He was a furrier. Ironic, isn't it? A furrier? What an amazing coincidence. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? The hell samples we have are all reddish brown. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd heard of a black wolf in general. Hold on. Are you fucking kidding me? Missing persons case, a runaway teenaged girl. It happened in 1989 in a town called Kirschel in the National Park Bayerischen Wald, Bavarian National Forest. Uh huh. Oh, I just thought I remembered something. It was a sad case, you know. She was very pretty. Ah yes, here it is. What? There was a supposed witness, an old lady who lived on the edge of town near the woods. She says she saw the girl go into the woods the night she disappeared. Says the wolf got her. The wolf? The old lady had been complaining for some time about a huge black wolf in the woods. But no one believed her. She was verrouped. Crazy. Damn. Uh, no one else ever saw the thing? Hadn't been any wolves in those woods for 50 years. So there was probably nothing to it. That's what I thought at the time. Of course, that was years before this case. Never heard of wolf attacks back then. Do you get a lot of missing persons cases in Germany? Oh, sure. Mostly teenagers, runaways. It gets worse all the time. Families are not like they used to be, yes? Suppose not. That's all I wanted to know. This map, it marks the locations of all the wolf killings, right? Yes. So something about some of these uh, cutscenes, you know, most, a lot of the question ones are just filler. Yeah, you can skip and not really miss anything, especially if you're using a walkthrough. So we're going to try to focus on some of the more important ones, if I can remember which ones are actually most important. I suppose. Grossberg. Didn't Liebe say that was the name of the guy who was killed last night? He sure did. I still say that one in the middle is different. I still say that one, I still Okay, so so you get the same reaction either way on those. Probably nothing of interest back there. Besides, I can't see past a commissar's big head. <laughs> big head. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, we were supposed to actually go to Von Glauer now. We were supposed to go to Von Glauer before uh, Lieber. Whoops. Oh, there's still stuff here. Okay. Probably missed something in there, but we'll, we'll go back there after we get to Perlock. So we skip some of these.
There's something about the club I don't quite understand. Yeah? I get the feeling you're not your average, ordinary hunting club. No? Well, that room in the basement, for instance. I gather you've been exploring. You can say that. The door was open. It doesn't matter. You are right. Yes. The Königlich Bayerische Hofjagd Loge is more than just a hunting club. We share certain philosophical beliefs as well. How does one go about trying to get back in touch with one's physical self? So how is this philosophy affected? Do we just skip past some of these? Basically, you learn about learn uh, some hints about what the club really is about, which we'll see soon. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? I'm so sorry. It's all right, Gunther. Wouldn't see that better, Heineken. You barely got me. Are you all right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I feel so clumsy. Now, as you can see, you, that made him uncomfortable. What was it you asked again? I asked if you'd ever heard of the Black Wolf. Of course, you did. I suppose you just startled me. <laughs> These killings in the papers. They've really got me uh, derailed. Any particular reason? People getting slaughtered. Children in broad daylight. Nature can seem cruel, but it is orderly. It does not waste or torture, not like this. And with the club, espousing what we do. Our philosophy does not support this kind of thing. I'm sure that's true. I apologize. It just... Uh, I'm concerned that we are not put in the best of light under these circumstances to promote hunting on these atrocities in the papers. You must understand the nature I promote is not a murderer. When a healthy beast kills, it takes only what it needs to survive, and it does so respectfully. It is only the man who is capable of such a pointless slaughter. I'll be glad when this has passed. I'm sure the other men feel the same way. Okay, so that is actually really huge, especially when you're, when you're replaying it. Let's see, what are we supposed to do next? Oh shit, I think we were supposed to use a... Oh crap, I don't think we we missed something important back in the uh, hunting lodge. Uh, let's go back there. Hey, we could skip the load, that little mini loaded screen, really? That's unexpected.
Okay, that's the post office. Alright, click the wrong spot. I don't think I'm gonna get down there again. Okay, we can't go back and get it. Huh. So I may miss the point that I don't think it broke the sequence. I'm pretty sure it did not. Oh, we, we we're looking at the wrong spot. Ah, that's why I misread read it. The uh, Grossberg number wasn't the diary we were supposed to get it from. We are supposed to get it from the police station. Even their trash can. Uh. That was probably, let me see. That was why it was still flashing, because we didn't get that. Okay, so we need to go now, and we need to go to, let's see. There's still something in to do in Marion Platts. But I don't know what. Ah, okay. Now, nah, see, we need, we need to go back to the farm. Hmm. I don't have time to worry about this historical stuff at the moment. I don't think it's got much to do with what's going on. Gabriel is a bit of a dumbass sometimes. I'd better make sure Gracie keeps busy elsewhere. All right, so let's see. Let's see, okay. Uh, we're supposed to, we're supposed to use, yeah. There we go, so that's a phone, another rotary phone. Associate of Herr Grossberg's? Yes. I was just calling the people in Herr Grossberg's address book to notify them. Have you heard that Herr Grossberg has. Yes, I, I know about his death. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me your name again so I can check you off the list? Uh, Knight. 
Ella Hoffman. I'm not finding you. Could you check under Vaughn? It's Vaughn night. Oh, so, yes, Vaughn. Von Eigner, von Frank, von Stein. You're not under Vaughn either. Excuse me, did you say Vaughn Agner? Yes. Do you know Vaughn Agner? I don't know him. I don't know most of Grossberg's business contacts. Grossberg knew him. If this is about money, you're out of luck. All the accounts are locked until someone comes in and takes over. Besides, there's nothing in them anyway. Mm, really? Well, could you just look up an account balance for me? I can't. The address book is all I have. The police have taken her Grossberg's ledgers. Oh. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. The mystery thickens, you know, deepens. Okay, so we need to go back to Barry and Plot. Oh, let's see. Actually, let's see. We need to go talk to, you know, Super Growl, then mail the letter off, then we go to the hunting lodge. the possibility of my using your secretary for research? No, any time. Great. Hmm. I, I wouldn't ask, but I need a newspaper search done, and my German sucks. <laughs> no problem. What exactly are you looking for? Missing persons. Actually, missing persons cases that occurred in or near forested areas. Uh, how far back do you want to go? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, remember the I game state is 1994, uh, so that have it ready for you by tomorrow. So that would be within Great. the time frame of that um, Nibiru was talking about. That's me. Now, I don't understand why we had to go do this. It, this very long walk. <sighs> Something that's always bothered me, no matter how many times I've played this game. It's, 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 it's completely filler. They really wanted to show off their green screen backgrounds and the FMV. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Hmm. Isn't it weird just standing there randomly with this guy? We don't know who... I don't think we ever know learn who it is. nearby and I thought that I should take a shower before they was arrived. I was a bit mm, automatic. Hey, 
surprise? Yes. Damn it, he looks like somebody and I can't place it. I want to say Bono, but without the assholeness. <laughs> Baron Von Glau mentioned that you're a lawyer. Uh, have you ever heard of uh, the Black Wolf? Yes. Damn. Really? Where? Oh, I don't know. Just sounds familiar. Will you tell me if you remember? Of course. Tell me about the other club members. Oh, is that all right? <laughs> Don't worry about Von Zell. He's a bastard to everyone these days. Good to know. When did Von Zell begin to change? Oh, he's been getting worse for a long time. I remember a hunting trip about um, a year ago. That was the last time I remember that we were all together and having a good time. He must have started getting difficult after that. So something happened on his trip that made him a prick. Seems like you've pretty much written Von Zell off yourself. Uh, any particular reason? Look, it's one thing when he insults the rest of us. But when he insults the Baron, I heard him arguing once. Told Am I imagining it, or is the sound getting distorted? Hey, it seems something seems, seems, seems up at the sound. How was Von Zell an asset as a friend? He is a banker. Okay, so it's just in that cutscene. Saying he loaned you money? That's unusual. I don't remember but being like that before. Trying to help out his good friends. Why would anyone in this club need money? I thought y'all were models of success. Yes, well, fortunately, I took less advantage of Von Zell's hospitality than some. Okay. Ah, uh, the reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> now you'll have someone new to probe. That's not so awkward. Well, brilliant man. Good cheer to you both. Where's the beer? You good night, my hand. Uh, you good evening. Good night. Yeah. Abend. Abend. Meine kleine Familie. How are you all this evening? Hello. Hello. Gabriel, I'm glad you could join us. I need to speak with the Baron. Enjoy your evening, Herr Knight. Thanks. I will. Baron. May I speak to you for a minute? What is it, Bryce? It's all good. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so let's see what we're supposed to do now. So we can't talk to Von Glau Glauer and Price, so... Oh. Yes, how night? Just wanted to grab a magazine. 
then grab one. Douchebag. Thanks. So we're supposed to use a tape recorder on this. Uh, where is it? Hey, isn't that Grace's uh, actress? I can't read it. It's in German. Like that looks like, like they they that she that she uh, put some glasses on in order to pose for the cover, you know, as a asset here. Huh. Hmm. That's a thought. I hid the tape recorder inside the magazine. I, I, I refuse to believe this works. Just wanted to put this magazine back. Only in the, in the uh, only in a computer game could this kind of thing work that they would not notice it. Hey, can I join you in a moment, Gabriel? Price and I are almost finished. Okay. I'll be around. The thing is, is you shove my knock me tugs to me now. Ah, so we let me talk to the see. Okay, so we need to talk to out Heinemann and von Eigner. That's what a speed. There we go. So, what were we all talking about when I came up? Tomorrow's little excursion. Will you be joining us? Our monthly hunting trip. A, a hunt trip? Really? Where? Our lodge is at Eppenberg. It's in the Bavarian National Forest. We leave tomorrow afternoon. Well, gosh. You know, that sounds great. But, uh, I need to have my gun cleaned and... Uh... Oh, there are plenty of guns at the lodge. Yeah, von Eigner, perhaps the Baron did not mean for Herr Knight to join us quite so soon. Oh, hell, why not? Baron? Von Eigner? Our hunting trip tomorrow. Will our new American friend be going with us? Tonight? Well, I don't see why of he could... Of course not. He's not a club member. He's probably not even registered with the license office. Nonsense, Gar. The sooner we get to see his technique, the better. But... We'll just slip him in, and he can register properly when we get back. But that's not legal. Since when do you care about legalities? It's only a hunting license? I agree. And again, Gabriel Knight does not necessarily take the legal option to resolve a situation. Well, enough said. The Baron should certainly get whatever he wants, shouldn't he? Perhaps it would be an interesting exercise at that. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that tone, mister. <laughs> to you sooner. Have you been enjoying yourself? Oh, uh, it's been loads of fun. Good. I'm glad you're going with us tomorrow. We don't get started until the afternoon, so uh, we'll have to worry about staying up late tonight. I have to warn you, uh, my hunting's kind of rusty. I'm sure it'll do just fine. Was? Mist. I demand to know what you're doing at this club. Me? Pardon, Monsieur. Really? Are you aware that this guest of yours has been asking intimate questions? Poking around in our personal affairs? He must be a reporter. Or the police! <laughs> what do we have to fear from a reporter? Or the police? 
Although I can promise you, her knight is neither. You don't care that he's prying into a private business? What possible motive could he have? Dark! Please, he's my guest. You're the one who is turning that into an inquisition. Then it is on your head! I apologize for that. You keep defending me. Uh, I'm not exactly helping the harmony around here. Believe me, the harmony was shattered a long time before you came. On Selgut's uh, territorial. I had it, frankly. Well, I should go anyway. I wanted to clean up for tonight. All right. Good night, everyone. Oh, good enough. Good night, night. Huh? I should be home soon. God damn, do we have the fucking predator in here now? That's ominous. Again, that's real fucking ominous. <laughs> so we now know something is stalking Gabriel. Now, what's wrong? I thought chapter three is when uh, the big action se sequence of the, of the game happens. But uh, I, I was wrong. It's, it's been that long since I played it, so I did not remember accurately. Now this sequence isn't exactly explained, I think, unlike the, uh, the previous one. But I think it's meant to be Grace is having nightmares about you know the um, 1989 missing you know, girl. That somehow she's able to see what's going on there. You know, in the past, I mean. How many times are you just gonna loop that? Oh shit! Ain't that from Glower? Huh. I don't remember that. Whoa, bitchin'! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna end it here and pick up next time at the start of chapter 4. See you next time. Thanks for watching.